Making Inferences Sid runs into the house and sees his father. Dad! Dad! I scored a 98% in my math exam! He is so happy, he bursts into joyous tears. Sid's father turns to his wife and says, Darling, let's go out to dinner to celebrate. Sid gets to choose the restaurant. How do you think Sid's father felt? Can you tell that he was happy and proud? Yes, you can. This is known as drawing an inference. The passage has not said so, but using clues, we can infer this. Father lets Sid pick the restaurant because he feels a sense of pride in him. Making inferences is like playing detective. You look for clues to draw your own conclusions of what is happening. Authors place information for the readers to infer from. It is up to us, the readers, to use these clues and make the correct inference from them. Making an inference is really making a logical conclusion based on the information provided. Tips to keep in mind. Find clues to get some answers. Add those clues to what we already know or have read. There can be more than one right answer. We need to be able to support inferences with facts from the text. Story. Rahul was practicing for the upcoming inter-school cricket test match. He wanted to score a century in his next match. Since he had never scored a century before, he decided the first person he would dedicate it to would be his grandmother. What can you infer from this passage? Rahul is in school. He is in the school cricket team. Rahul is a batsman. He was very determined. Rahul loved his grandmother a lot. Even though the information is not clearly detailed, we can use the information that is given to deduct or infer this. Thanks, Vidali. We know that an inference is made by drawing conclusions based on the information implied rather than directly stated. An inference is made by uh, putting the information that we already know to what is written to get the answer. Can we say that the boy is angry? We don't really know. But looking at the expression, we can infer that he is angry. Here is another one. Hi, you got your report card and you don't look very happy. I can easily conclude that it's not very good. What is our inference here? You can see I got my report card. I don't look happy, do I? Looking at my expressions, we can all tell that my report wasn't good.